Second by second, you lose the opportunity to become the person you want to be. I am the greatest. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Sean Fit, tapping back in with another one. If you got a good jab, go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick. Now let's get into it. No days off till it pay off. Let's get it. All right, so the tools that we're going to be working with are dumbbells. I usually use from one, two pounds, three pounds, five pounds. We got battle ropes and resistance bands. First, I start with the dumbbells. I usually start shadow boxing with the dumbbells. Um, the important thing with dumbbells is to work on your technique. Sometimes you got to start out slow and just making sure your fundamentals are right, your foot placement, um, your balance, your punches are not winged out you know what i'm saying they're going straight out and back in and then you start working your combinations in working more explosive everything comes from the feet up you know so if you see i cannot throw any punches and my foot is my feet are moving with the punches you would be able to tell if i threw a jab or i threw a um a rear my rear hand through a hook you know because how my feet are moving so that's something to be aware of when you're using dumbbells and then after i've done working with the dumbbells do a drill around with the dumbbells i'll drop the weights and shadow box without them just to see where everything's at every time i throw a punch and i end a combination or something i make sure i'm correcting myself in my head if something is off now we're going to train sp uh, punch specific so we're going to start with bursting um straight punches i usually start with like nose range and punch straight out about five to ten seconds drop the weights do the same repeat the same drill without the weights and always have a mental note mind body connection of how your punches is how your technique is how your body is feeling when do you get tired um how easy it is repeat the same exercise with uppercuts making sure the uppercuts are center your elbows are not flaring out nice crisp uppercuts and then you repeat the same drill without the weights. This is a drill I like to do when I really want to work on my explosive twitch muscles, man. Um, and speed and everything works together. So you work from the ground up. If you watch my feet, my back foot is planted. My, my From my chin through the center of my body is nice and center. My jab is going straight out, coming back in. My uppercuts is, is nice and tight. So everything coming from that back foot and that resistance band is pulling me back, pulling my punches back, pulling my body back. And I'm exploding forward to try to create that naturalness and as i drop the resistance bands i'm doing a, a check to see if my muscles kind of picked up what i was training it to do battle ropes if you don't use battle ropes you're missing out on a great exercise great training tool i use battle ropes in this method i'm just kind of warming up the muscles and then bursting into them my hand placement is a little bit centered not palms facing up like i'm throwing an uppercut i'm just working intensity working work rate it's kind of like that sugar ray leonard type of flurry you thinking about pop 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 digging deep biting down and pushing yourself to go you see i'm moving my feet with it i always train my feet and my punches at the same time then you switch up the grip placement and we throw in straight punches now so you just go about eye to about nose level and punch straight out as fast as you can fast as you can bite down bite down punch hard as you can punch fast as you can that's going to train that explosiveness that reaction time too now we're going to do uppercut type of movements it's different than the first drill because your hand your palms is facing a little bit more upward towards the ceiling so you're focusing on launching those uppercuts pop 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 giving it to your opponent you got to flurry it. it's the last 30 seconds of the round you're trying to give them all you got that's what you're thinking when you're training this type of stuff now hooks hooks are so important like roy jones think about how fast roy jones hooks came out this is how you want to treat this drill very explosive you see my hips my foot is pivoting with the with the hooks everything come from the feet up train your punches just like that always have that mind body connection be aware of what you're doing 
this last one, I just shadow box. I put it all together. Everything I just trained individually, now I'm working it all in a sequence to see how it all feels. Yeah. Is it explosive? Is it faster? You know, am I hitting harder? Am I sharper? Am I getting tired sooner or later? Like, do I have more endurance? Everything you take in a mental note of, that's what it's called training rather than just exercising. Throwing some uppercuts, the hooks, the jabs, palm with the jab. And you just mix it up now, you know? And it's tiring. It's very exhausting to do this exercise. Another resistance bands exercise I do is kind of like the Errol Spence video I posted. Um, Errol Spence always uses resistance bands when he trains um, shadow boxes. So that's what I'm going to do right now is just use these resistance bands to shadow box. And I'm just tying it in a knot. You take the two ends, make a loop around, tie it tight. And then it's kind of in the middle right there. And then you wrap that around your, um, around your body. In your comfortable position, whatever you're comfortable with. Sometimes I put the one end under my armpit, just like this, just so it don't scrape up my skin. Sometimes you get like a rug burn type thing. And then now you just shadow box. Start with the jab. Make sure the fundamentals are down packed. The great thing about resistance bands is that it forces straight punches. So you punch out and it comes right back. It pulls you right back. So I'm starting with the jab. Jab two. Make sure you you focus on straight this punches. Try to punch perfect because you're training your muscles. However you train and training, your body will perform in a fight. So try to keep it as crisp, as sharp as possible. Make sure you're explosive. If you want to be faster, train to be faster. Don't just settle for how you are. You have to get in the gym and put in the work. See that? I'm switching up the tempo. I know in a fight it's not going to be all these be one tempo. Sometimes Gary Russell Jr. kind of have this just constant, just high speed tempo volume of punches, you know? But that's not always how you got to fight. You got to train in real time. Like, okay, I'm, I'm visualizing a fight as I'm training. Jab, jab, okay. Pull back, right hand, duck, slip, jab, jab. Always moving those feet. And like I said earlier, everything comes down from the feet. So if you see, I'm always working my feet. If I'm turning the two, my foot is turning, my hip is turning. I'm shooting that jab, that, that front foot is moving. I'm never stuck in one spot because offense, defense is always happening at the same time. If I'm throwing something, somebody's waiting for me to throw the counter. So my feet got to be active.